again, ladies. Welcome back to another video. I am so glad that you are here to join me today. In today's video, we're going to do a couple different things. First of all, I had a handbag recently sent to me by a company, and I will put all the information down below on the handbag, on the company that sent it to me. They asked me if I would be willing to review the handbag for them and share with you, my followers, my friends, my thoughts on the handbag. They are also giving me a discount code. So if you are interested in purchasing it, everything will be in the drop down box below as well as on the corresponding blog post. But the other thing that I want to share with you today is what to look for when purchasing a handbag. I know there are certain things that I think about when I'm purchasing a handbag. In this company that reached out to me, let me choose what handbag I wanted. And I really appreciated that because like I said, there are specific things that I look for. One of the things with my handbags is I need function. That is very important. That's one of the key components. I use a handbag every day, just like you do. So I need it to function very well for me. So those are the two things we're gonna cover today. And without further ado, let's get started. Before I dive in too fast about this handbag, I wanna talk about what's in it. So you can see inside of it, obviously there is a lot of room in this handbag. I have my handbag organizer right here, and I have shared this before, and I actually have a video on what's in my handbag. So you're gonna wanna check that out so you can find out about the organizer, and you can also find out what I keep in it. Again, this is one of the best purchases I've ever made. It was actually a gift. I have like two or three, and it's wonderful. You're gonna wanna check that out. The other thing that I have inside my handbag is my cosmetic case that I carry in my handbag, and I carry this one here. Also have a video on what I carry in my cosmetic pouch that I keep in my handbag. So you're gonna wanna check that video as well. Both of them are going to be linked below. Here is the handbag, it is beautiful. This was sent to me by a company, company called Teddy Blake New York. This bag is called the Caddy Silver. It is 100% leather. This is the 14 inch. The reason it is called the Caddy Silver is because the detail on it is in silver. You can also get the detail in gold. I chose to go with the silver. The color of this bag is called Dark Beige. I love it because it's a nice taupey color. It's a beautiful quality bag. It's very structured. I love the size, I love the feel of it, I love the durability. It is a heavy bag, I will say that. I am not opposed to having a heavier bag. I think when you're getting 100% leather and something to this quality, it's inevitably going to be a little bit heavier. One of the beauties of this bag is it's a neutral, it's going to go with everything. I love neutral colored everything and I think all of you are well aware of that by now but I, I did not have a bag this taupey color, so I love it, I love the color, I love everything about it, except for one thing, and I'm gonna share that with you, but what's funny is, after using this bag for a couple weeks, I figured out how to work with the one thing that kind of was driving me a little bit crazy about it. This is the front of the bag, let me just show you the back. So this is the back, of course you can see it has nice handles. I love when there are feet on the bottom of a bag. That is going to protect your bag, and that is something that I'm really drawn to. You generally are only going to get that with a more structured bag, but it is something that I do look for in a quality handbag. One of the issues that I have with this bag is this is the only way that it closes. So if you were to look at the top of this bag, this part right here, this does not open at all. So the only way that you can get into your bag is by turning this little knob, pulling this little guy off of here. If I can do it one-handed, there we go. And then you've got to pull this one off of here. And then you have to lift this out, lift this out, lift, lift this up like that to get inside. So as you can see, it is not a quick bag to get into. And that is a problem for me because again, what do I look for in a bag? I look for function. I need a bag that functions and I need it to function very quickly. So that was a problem. And I've been using this bag for about, well, probably about three weeks consistently. No other bag unless I went someplace and I needed to carry a clutch or I needed to carry the crossbody that I shared in last week's video. Uh, like to a sporting event or on vacation, 
This is the only bag I've been using. <laughs> what I have found out is that constantly doing up the bag, it's been nothing but a pain. So what I decided to do is I started to just carry it open like this. Now you can see right here, you can snug this a little tighter. So what I've been doing is snugging that tight and leaving it just like that. So I put this metal part right up to the edge and I tuck this part in here and now it has been easy breezy for me to get into. Because of the type of handles that it has, it still keeps the bag closed. So I don't worry about anybody reaching into this bag. Again, it's a durable leather. It's not gonna be easy for somebody to get their hand in. And if they are, I'm gonna feel them tug and I'm gonna sock them in the jaw. You know what I mean, ladies. <laughs> but anyway, so I have found a way to really make this bag work. So would I recommend it? If that's not a problem for you, that it closes the way it does, or if you are okay with doing it like this, because I still think it's a very attractive bag. It also has your little holder here if you wanna attach your keys, but I do think it is important to share the good qualities and the bad qualities of a bag. Other than that, bag's working for me. Really love it, and like I said, all the information will be down below, including the website, and I believe with my, with my discount code, they're offering $20 off any handbag. You're gonna pay a lot of money for a designer bag like this. Again, 100% leather, but if you're in the market, this is a great line. I think the company would be great to work with. Moving on, so what is it that I look for when purchasing a handbag? Well, let me just say that this is gonna be different than a lot of those videos out there because I'm not talking about designer handbags. So I think if you're talking about getting a Louis Vuitton or a Chanel or a Parada or something like that, that's a little bit different type of video. I think for the majority of us, we can't really afford those high-end luxury handbags and we're getting more everyday bags. On the other hand, this is probably the most expensive handbag I have ever had. In fact, I know it is. So it was so nice to have this sent to me to review. Um, but yeah, there are certain things in, a, in an everyday handbag in an affordable one that I do look for and I wanna share that with you. And hopefully I can help you to decipher what is gonna work for you. The other thing I want to really put some emphasis on is when you're purchasing a handbag as a gift for someone, that is very hard and very tricky because again, it goes back to most women need a handbag that functions for them, that they can work in and out of on a daily basis several times a day. If you ever are going to purchase a handbag for a relative or a friend, my suggestion is you would pay attention to the current handbags they've been using because you're gonna to wanna to look for a key feature. Actually, everything I talk about today, you're gonna to wanna to look for, but one of them is going to be the inside. And sometimes that's hard to see when you're looking at somebody else's handbag, so you'll wanna pay close attention. One of the things that I look for in a handbag is I want one opening. I want one central opening. That is very important. Almost all handbags are going to have some type of pouch on one side of the inner part of the handbag and usually a zipper pouch on the other one. That's almost a guarantee. But I want a nice open space. And the reason I want that nice open space is because you know what I'm gonna drop in the center and that is going to be this. If I have the other type of handbag that has two openings, it is a lot harder for the handbag to look right when this is only on one side. Let me give you an example of what I mean by having two sides. So here is another handbag, kind of the same type of body, not as stiffly structured, doesn't have a bottom on it, but this is just from Target, it's an older bag. You open it up and inside, you can tell I stuffed my bags and we can talk about that as well, but you can see inside there is two large compartments. Now certainly my organizer would fit into one of those sides, but it makes it a little off, even if I put my cosmetic case in the other side. This is not the type of handbag I like to work with, but many women do. In fact, my mom is one of them. She likes a handbag that has two compartments like that. One of my really good friends, who I used to train as a client years ago, she was the same way. And we always would talk about how I needed my bag to be one center open and she needed two. So it's really important, especially buying a gift for someone, that you pay attention to that and you also are gonna wanna find out for yourself which type of handbag you prefer. Do you want the whole wide open space or do you want where there's two compartments like that? 
While we have this handbag, why don't I discuss with you how I store my handbags? So when you purchase a handbag, generally it will come with paper on the inside just like this. A lot of times the sales clerk will pull that paper out because they need to make sure that nothing else got put in there. What I always do is ask if they don't mind giving me that paper back or putting it back in the bag because if you keep paper like this, it will help to keep the bag hold its shape and then however you want to store it from there I have them up on the top shelf in my walk-in closet but it is perfect if, if you don't have if you already have bags and you need some just use shipping paper you can go to U-Haul and you can buy for a, a pretty reasonable amount of money a box that has a whole stack of shipping paper you take them out you wad them up you can also use grocery sacks. Use whatever you want to stuff your bag. If you have some great suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. A lot of people read my comments. We're all here to help one another, but I would definitely recommend that you do stuff your bags to help hold the shape of them. Another very important thing that you want to consider when purchasing a bag for yourself or as a gift for someone is what type of handle do you like? Do you like a structured handle like this? The thing with the handle like this, you're pretty much going to be having to carry the handbag in your hand, so you're not hands-free. You could loop it through if there's enough room like this, so that's another option, but you're definitely gonna to wanna to think about that when getting ready to purchase a handbag. Another type of handbag would be like the one I have here. So some people, you can be hands-free. This is more of a shoulder bag, and it's kind of slouchy. And again, this would be a bag that's open in the inside, so my little insert would fit perfectly. But some people would like something like this. If you're doing this type of a bag, I would pay attention to the shoulder strap, make sure it's going to be comfortable. Put it on you, look in the mirror, see how it looks, see how it feels. Another very popular bag is the crossbody bag. So if you're a crossbody type of person, that's a great bag for somebody who likes to be hands-free. I would pay attention to the strap. Make sure that the, it is adjustable because everybody has different heights and you're gonna wanna adjust it to the suitable height for you. Since I do have the crossbody, I wanna share a little bit about what I look for in a crossbody. I did share this bag last week in my video that I did with Amy where we were sharing our top five, top five favorite things. I'll link that video below, you don't wanna miss it. But one of the things that I look for in a crossbody, I'm not a crossbody person, so there is a purpose for me using a crossbody. And that's when I go to a sporting event where you're limited on the size, or I'm on vacation, I need to be hands-free. Because I don't think of it as a, I really don't think of it so much as an accent piece to my outfit like I do my other handbags. This is definitely a function for a specific thing. But one of the things I look for is I want it to be flat because we go to a lot of sporting events and again, you're limited on size. I don't want anything bulky. You gotta maneuver between around people, you're in and out, in and out, and you need something that's right up against you and that's what I love about this. But yet there's so many pockets and pouches and I love how deep it is. I can get so much into this, but yet it's nice and flat. So love this crossbody. It is still available. I will link it down below. Uh, can't recommend this bag enough. Can't recommend it. And I love any, anything nude color, anything nude. Moving on to the clutch. Yes, I do look for some key things when carrying a clutch as well. So I'm gonna show you something that I've recognized uh, through trial and error that I don't like about a clutch. And then I'll share with you some of the things that I do look for. Number one, these are adorable and they're very dressy. They're so festive. They look beautiful during the holidays. The problem with something like this for me, although I love them, is I can't fit my phone in here and I have to have my phone on me and I believe most of you do as well. So it is really important that the clutch that I carry, I can fit everything in. The other thing, let me just say real quick, is I actually have a video, what's in my clutch. So I will link that video down below. So I have a lot of great videos that complement this one. And I think after you watch all of them, you're just gonna be ready to stock that handbag and be raring to go. Here would be more of an example of a fun, festive, colorful handbag. Perfect, this one has the, the little uh, chain so that you can carry it like a crossbody if you want or, or up on, on your shoulder. But in something like this, it is still very structured. But what I love, I can get my phone in there, I can get my little uh, card holder, I can get a lipstick, I can get a compact, I can get everything that I need into this one. And then the other one that I have as well is something like this. This one is a fold over one like that. 
you open it up at the top, but again, I can fit everything in here. This one's a little bit more casual. Very important though that I have that feature. I just can't do something that I can't, can't carry my phone in. If you go to my video, What's in My Clutch, you will see the little bag that's in here. The other thing I do wanna mention, a lot of time if you do get a genuine leather bag, um, you're going to get a little dust bag to go with it. That's another great way to store them, but again, I would still put stuffing inside your bag to hold their shape. But this is my Tory Burch Caviar Leather Clutch. Love this, this is a perfect holiday bag. Very formal, very chic looking. I love the tea because I always think tea for Tracy instead of Tori and I get to do that. But yes, I do have a video uh, talking about this clutch, so I'm not gonna go into any detail, but this will fit everything as well. This one also has the little card holders, so I can put my ID in there, I can put my uh, credit card in there, and uh, we're good to go. So this one's perfect as well. Another thing to look for in a handbag sometimes, ladies, is fun. Fun, 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 and I love the little pom-pom theme this year. I love the tassels, anything like that, just to have a lot of fun with. So that's always a great thing to incorporate. Still, you want it to be functionable, so this is a beautiful one. I don't know if this one's still available. If it is, I will link it below. If it's not, I will be sure to link some alternatives for you. One more thing that I want to share as a tip when shopping for a handbag for yourself or for someone else is really pay attention. And I just have to say, I don't think people really think about this, but I think you should. And I think you need to really pay attention to the size. If you are a small, petite little thing, you don't want a big old jumbo bag. I mean, if you're carrying a tote because you need something that can hold it all, put your computer in, all those things, that's another thing. But if you're carrying just an everyday handbag or if you're going to an event, think of the size of your body. I feel that way with jewelry. I feel that way with handbags. If you're small and petite, it's just gonna overpower you to have this giant handbag. And again, I feel the same way with jewelry. I think if you have big, huge pieces of jewelry, but you're a small petite thing, it just doesn't really look right. If you're a bigger person or bigger boned or tall, more robust built, go for the bigger bags. It's going to look very suitable on your frame. So bear that in mind. I do think it's something that most people don't pay attention to. We all know we can do whatever we want. I'm just here to give you some tips and thoughts of my own. So I hope that you can appreciate that one. Well, thanks again for joining me today. I hope you found this video to be helpful. I love videos like this, so I'm so happy to share them with you. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't, tell people about me. Tell your friends, your sister, your coworkers. Tell everybody about me. I'd love to have everybody join in. I know that I appreciate all of you and I know that most of you appreciate what I am here to do. So I'm always happy to oblige to anything that you wanna hear. Comments and suggestions down below in the comment section. I always appreciate it. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a great day.